Microalgae has the highest concentration of nutrition in the world. This is a game changer for your health, for your energy, for your skin. Catherine Ornstedt, the visionary founder of Energibits, inspired by her sister's battle with breast cancer. Catherine delved into research and unearthed the transformative power of algae. The benefits of algae are too good to believe and too powerful not to. There's almost a hundred thousand studies documenting all the different benefits of algae. It's so concentrated, you could live on this forever. Algae, which endorsed by the United Nations as the answer to world hunger because it has three times the amount of protein as steak. The problem with Ozempic is that that's the biggest thing. If you're trying to lose weight, this is the answer. This is Mother Nature's version of Ozempic. Hi, my name is Aggie, and this is Biohacking Bestie. The one-stop shop for a modern queen where you can find biohacking courses, self-growth courses, and where you can find the most incredible community of women so you can hit all of your biohacking goals and beyond. Welcome my besties, welcome to Biohacking Bestie and today my guest is another inspiring, beautiful and wonderful woman. Her name is Catherine Arnston and she is the CEO, the founder and the chief scientific officer of Energy Bits uh, and what Energy Bits are and why I love them so much and why I think you will love them too. Well, keep on listening because we have a lot to talk about. This is going to be beautiful. Just drop in between two women who love to talk science and want to feel great in their bodies, which is, I think, yes. is a good explanation of the two of us. <laughs> yes. Yes. I tell people it's never too late to feel great. <laughs> oh, I love that. And, yeah. it's, and it's funny because it's like even people in their 30s now say like, is, is it too late to start? And I'm like, no, I mean, it's perfect. Any any age that you start is perfect. I just had a call with my mom and mom's like, I'm 68 and I, I don't need this biohacking. It's too late. I'm like, oh, mom, you have like another 20 years. So uh, that's oh, why we have 20 years. I, I plan. I, I, I'm, I'm the same age as your mother. Um, <clears throat> I'll be yeah. 68 this year and I plan to live another 40. I mean, Dave Asprey and I, we're going to we're going to be uh, holding holding out <laughs> for hitting 120. 40, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, but that's, okay, so what's so beautiful is that I think my mom is thinking, I don't know if I want to live that quality of life for another 20 or 30 years because she feels quite tired, sluggish, and, you know, forget my mom, women my age in their 30s, they have lack of energy. They need five coffees to get through the day. And so... That's where biohacking comes in and experts like yourself. I'll just give you a little bit of a backstory, a, a personal story of, of, I guess, your product and, and my journey. I didn't really understand what uh, algae is and we're going to talk about different stuff, but where I, I live between LA and Bali and a lot of locals highly celebrate spirulina. There's raw spirulina farms and they say it's like, honestly, superfood. So I was like, great, I should do it. Oh my God, it tastes like absolute. I'm not <laughs> yes, going to even finish. Nobody, nobody likes the taste of spirulina. <laughs> so like, so having it raw and I was like, oh, it's in my fridge. And it's one of those uh, situations where I know it's so good for me. And yet I'm not having it because I can't taste it. So when you came up with your product, I was like, wow, this is spirulina tablets that I can have Swallow. every day, actually enjoy. And it doesn't make me feel like I'm about to die. I'm like, win, win, win. So it's, I always say the best supplements, the one that you actually take, not the one that, you know, it's there on the shelf. And anyways, I'm genuinely yeah. just excited to host you. So let's dive in from the very beginning. What is algae or algae? Well, or um, this is a great segue because um, um, the tablets, which are about the size of a baby aspirin, in case anybody's not watching, um, they can be swallowed or chewed, but they are not a supplement. They're actually food. Algae is its own food category. <clears throat> And um, there's uh, two main types of algae, uh, or algae as they say in Europe. Uh, there's macroalgae and microalgae. We're going to be speaking mostly about microalgae, but let me tell you what macroalgae is. 
It's that big stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as seaweed or dulse or kelp. And it's good for you, too, because it has high fiber and high iodine because it's only grown in the sea. That's why it's called seaweed. But it has virtually zero nutrition. I used to buy big bags of kelp noodles, and there'd be like five calories in the huge bag because there's virtually no nutrition, but lots of fiber. Microalgae, which is what we're talking about today, is completely opposite. It has either no fiber or virtually no fiber and the highest concentration of nutrition in the world. You can get something like a million microalgae on the head of a pin. That's how tiny it is. It's called micro because it's microscopic. Now, unlike seaweed, which is only in the sea, microalgae is everywhere. It's in the sea, but it's also in the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the soil, your aquarium, your swimming pool, pretty much everywhere. And um, even NASA uh, has uh, uh, endorsed it, uh, algae, as the most nutrient-dense food in the world. We have a quote from NASA that says, one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits and vegetables. One to a thousand. This is why they feed it to Can the astronauts. Can say that again for people in the back? One yeah. gram of algae is has the same to- nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits or veg- and vegetables. So um, as you're going to see, um, uh, we sell our algae in bag, large bags, small bags, canisters, but the most popular is a large bag that has a thousand tablets in it. And using that quote, I determined that one bag of a thousand tablets, which is, you know, I've got it here in my hand, has the same nutrition as 551 pounds of vegetables. 551 pounds of vegetables right there. That's about 30, three zero grocery carts of food. Now, it's not just efficient nutrition. Just think of all the time and energy and effort that you saved yourself from having to drag home 30 grocery carts of food, stuff it into your fridge, clean it, cook it, eat it, throw it out when nobody ate it or throw it out when it went bad. It's so concentrated, you could live on this forever. So so number one, algae is food. Number two, microalgae is the most concentrated food in the world. And there are tens of thousands of strains. Seaweed, there's only a few. It's ten, uh, microalgae, tens of thousands. There's blue-green, there's green, there's red. The two most popular that people know about are blue-green and green. Um, And we're going to be talking about one strain of blue-green algae, which is called spirulina. And it's called blue-green because it has two pigments in it. It has a blue one, which is called phycocyanin, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And the green one that most people know about, which is chlorophyll. Chlorella only has one pigment in it. It's the green pigment. So, mm-hmm. um, but but I the reason I tell you that is because very often people will go online and read about um, blue green algae closing their favorite beach. Well, we're not talking about spirulina because spirulina and chlorella are harvested as food crops. So here I'm going to show you a picture. This oh, is a spirulina farm. This is a chlorella farm. So y- yes, there is blue-green algae in the ocean, but spirulina and chlorella are not from the ocean. They are harvested what's called hydroponically, which means they're grown in fresh water. This is how they grow lettuce, tomatoes. So when you read about a blue-green algae closing your favorite beach, we're not talking about spirulina. By the way, I tell people, Poor algae gets a bum rap because um, algae only shows up to absorb toxins. It's the cleanup crew. So the the issue is the toxins were already there in the water. You just didn't see them. But you do see the spirulina or the the blue-green algae. But And it does the same thing in your body, you're going to find out. It kills bacteria. It pulls out toxins. And we'll get into that. Yeah, let's get to that in a second. But I just want to say, like, isn't that beautiful when you actually tune into the intelligence of nature, that when... And the sea gets too full of toxin. The, it calls on the sea with the algae to clean up. And so beautiful that we can actually notice that and really just tune in and use the same um, techniques or the, the same, you know, nature's intelligence. I personally, and maybe I'm wrong, but we since we're talking about toxin, so for me, it has been in my healing journey, clearing out toxins has been monumental, you know, um, 
I say in the book, we are exposed to 168 chemicals a day as women. And we, in our bodies, put like 700 toxins at yeah. any given time. It's it's crazy. It's like this veil that we don't even know it's there because we're so used to being poisoned. And some of them are forever chemicals that our body will never possibly be able to even get rid of. But there are also yeah. some that we can and we should do everything we can. And this is my, so I don't know if this is the official way of using your product. Please correct me if it's, uh, if I'm wrong, but I noticed if I mega dose chlorella when I'm flying, I don't have so much of like, um, I'll call it, like, it's not even jet lag, but like a hangover from a very long flight. I really yeah. notice radiation now, the cleaner I am, the more I notice. Yes. And so I mega dose probably like 15 to 20 chlorella tablets oh, that's not even mega dose that's what no. we recommend for for uh for um detox Sleep. but well, i said like yeah. 15 to 20 to 30 but anyways that for me is enough to like get off a yes. flight i'm like oh actually i feel like a mass like what's happening and am i, I doing it right yes so um so back to the sort of algae is i forgot to mention that <clears throat> algae particularly spirulina which is called a cyanobacteria because it's not even a plant was the first life on earth because you were mentioning about how um, algae is you know what it does in the ocean it does the same thing in our body and it's as it's the most natural thing you can put in your body because it's been here longer than anybody or anything wow. I mean, you can only be the first life on earth once right and it's proven uh, that it was here it was before algae, especially you know spirulina. Uh, Earth was just gas and water. There was no oxygen. Nothing grew, and then cyanobacteria started growing and released oxygen. And then a billion years later, more plants could grow, and eventually we showed up 200 million years you know ago. But algae's been here for three and a, and a half billion years, and it's still here. So it's obviously doing something right. <laughs> it's just yeah. that the only thing is that most people don't know about it or don't know what it does. Does they don't know how it works. So so um, I'm here as the algae voice, the voice of algae to, uh, to <laughs> explain. Team. Yeah, yeah, it's because it's so like we need it more now than ever before. And I'll explain that in a minute. So so back rewinding, it's important that you know that algae is food, not a supplement. Yes, algae does grow in the oceans, but the two that we that we sell or whether you go to Whole Foods or Target, spirulina and chlorella are pretty much grown in fresh water as an agricultural crop. And then what happens is we air dry it, which is um, very important to know. Uh, we, we, we air dry it without heat. So um, most other algae companies use heat, which kills enzymes and damages a lot of the nutrients so we don't use that so we preserve all the nutrients and then we press them into these little tablets that we call bits because they're bits of nutrition they're bits of food um, I tell I tell people this is the future of fast food because if you can swallow water you can get the nourishment that you need in seconds um, and each one of these tablets okay they're only about the size of a baby aspirin each one of these tablets has the same nutrition, you're not gonna believe this, as an entire plate of vegetables. So while I'm talking to you now, I just had a plate of vegetables. How amazing is that? How easy is that? How fast is that? So if you don't like vegetables, or they give you gas, or you're not close to a grocery store, or your or kids you're won't eat them, and it's you're traveling. To find something healthy, right? That equals that. And it's based on that quote we have from NASA. So. This is the most efficient nutrition that you're ever going to get. And when you buy it from a good source like us, where it's raw, we do third party lab tests, we ensure that it's uh, all the nutrients are preserved, you're going to get very, very high quality nutrition. And it's safe for any age group from newborns to children to teenagers to grandparents. Pets love them too. So, A, it's food, B, it's the most concentrated food in the world, and it's effortless. And this is the reason why I'm, I'm stressing this is because, as you know, people, as you mentioned at the very beginning, uh, um, even as early in their 20s, <clears throat> are tired. They have stomach distress. They have breakouts in their skin. Uh, cancer rates are escalating, even with younger people. And the, the, the reason this is happening is twofold. One, we aren't getting the nutrition that we need to help our bodies function optimally. And two, we have too many toxins in our bodies, which interfere with our bodies operating optimally. So you say to yourself, well, why are we not getting the nutrition we need? Well, That's here's exactly, the situation, yeah. right? 
Tell it. Well, <laughs> it's a couple of things. Number one, our soils are so overcropped, they've been monocropped, so there are no longer minerals in the soils for the vegetables and the plants to pull up. So even if you so are eating organic... Because it's really important, Like, because I think a lot of us are so disconnected uh, from, yeah. you know, if you don't live on a farm, you probably don't even know what it takes to um, to harvest, you know, or crops. Yes. So, like so monocropping is when they grow the same crop on the same land year after year after year. In the old days, in, you know, 50 years ago, farmers would grow a variety of crops and they would leave far, uh, entire areas um to be fallow in between the harvesting mm -hmm. years, which would allow like the topsoil yeah. to so come back. And maybe they would do corn one year and then they would do clover the next year. So it cross pollinated the land so it could be nourished again. I tell people we know more about our cell phone than our bodies. We know that if we don't plug our cell phone in at night, it's not going to work the next day because the the charge won't be there. Well, in the same way, if you do not nourish your body or if you don't nourish the soil, then there's no nourishment in the plants to pull up from the soil. And then if you're not eating proper, you're not getting the nourishment that you need, your body doesn't work either. An analogy I make to people is think of your body like you would a new building. Now, when a new building is built, everything's shiny and everything works. And in the building, you have different offices. And in your body, think of those offices as your cells. And then in the offices, the way that you're, you can get work done is with lights. And in your body, the way that, that um, things that work get done in your cells are through what's called mitochondria. Now, in a building, they have maintenance people. And so when the lights go out, the maintenance people come in and replace the yeah. lights so you can keep working. But in your body, as, you're, as you get older or as you don't have enough nutrients or as you have too many toxins, those mitochondria, which are like the lights in your building, they go out. And there's nothing to turn them back on except algae. Algae has all the nutrients that will help protect your mitochondria, which will allow them to grow back, which will allow them to generate more cellular energy. So it's like putting the lights back on in your building. So now everything works again. But if you don't have the, in, this kind of intervention, because it is impossible to get the nutrients you need from our food these days. And here's the thing, after the age of 30, and we could talk about this later, your body stops making a lot of really important antioxidants that mm -hmm. allow your body to function um, properly. Things like melatonin start to drop. There's a very important antioxidant called superoxide dismutase. I know that's a mouthful. It's also known as SOD. No, not and at it's, all. <laughs> it, stops, it stops the damage of the of, um the mitochondria, they stop the mitochondria from being damaged from free radicals. So after the age of 30, up until age of 30, your body makes that for you. But after 30, it stops. And so, and you can't get SOD from any food except algae. So again, algae has, um, uh, and also by the way, this SOD is an, is an enzyme. So all the other algae companies that use high heat to dry their algae, they're damaging, killing the, this SOD because it's an enzyme. All enzymes are, are denutered after 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Ours is raw or frozen spirulina like you used to take is raw. So you would get all those same benefits. But people don't I, know I, these. I, don't I know it, it gives you the creeps thinking about eating all that, right? I, uh, well, here, I, it's so funny because I have no problems by chewing on the tablets, but I, I it, it's extremely painful to eat raw spirulina. I have to say that. Um, yeah. So just to like um, summarize real quick, if you're listening to this right now, you're a woman in your 30s, and you feel like, what does it mean for me? Like, so just from just from the beginning, right? You are we are surrounded in an environment that we're full of toxins. We're not getting the nutrients. There's many studies that say that you know rats that weren't given enough nutrients become infertile, you know, they age faster, they have inflammation, low energy. And so like you want to make sure that you nourish your body. And so there are many ways to do it. You can eat bags and bags and bags of food and vegetables. Uh, for me personally, I struggle to have a super healthy diet. I run a business, I travel. Like it's really hard to hit those veg as many vegetables as I would have liked and they're organic and, and it gets quite expensive. And so I, 
it's it's almost like too good to be true, but feels like you know, oh my god, I have spino, I can have spirulina and chlorella, and all of a sudden nourish my body. And not only now, na- it's like the craziest thing that you're not only na- giving it all the nutrients that you need, you also help it detoxify, which is right. at the same time. It's almost like it's too good to be true, but at the same yeah. time, it's actually well, like, it's, it's, I came up like with the, the nature has like yeah. nailed it. <laughs> I know. I came up with a saying, the benefits of algae are, are um, too, too good to believe and too powerful not to. So. The good news is um, the knowledge of algae has been around for hundreds of years. Um, the, actually, the Egyptians used, used to wrap themselves in it 2,000 years ago. The Aztecs in Mexico used it as a main source of food. In Asia, it is a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop. That's with a B. They've been taking it every day for over 60 years. But most people outside of Asia don't know about it because it's not grown anywhere else. And nobody has, has told you about it. And you probably didn't know about chia or matcha or kiwa or collagen powder until the last 10 or so years because until someone told you about it. But collagen powder and bone broth and chia, they've been used by indigenous countries or indigenous peoples in other countries for hundreds of years. So and same with algae. That's really not like in, in Indonesia, like until I moved to Bali where the locals were like, oh, this is sacred, you know. Their farms. Well, I like that. that It's a sacred food. It's it's an ancestral food. It doesn't get any older than algae. It was first life on earth, as I mentioned. But it is remarkable. So this is a game changer for your health, for your energy, for your skin, to prevent uh, any kind of metabolic disease for your brain. And what I wanted you to know is that this isn't just conjecture. There's almost 100,000 studies documenting all the different benefits of algae. There's about 60,000 on spirulina and about 40,000 on... 60,000 studies, guys. 60,000, 40,000. Wow. It's It's the most studied food in the world, but I tell people, you know, scientists like to talk to each other. They don't know how to talk to us mere mortals. I call myself a citizen scientist because I'm completely self-taught on the science. I, I got into this because my younger sister had breast cancer years ago and her oncologist this told her. This was going to be my next question. How did yeah. you, because it's like, there has to, the, the hero journey of like, yeah, I want to see Catherine when she real, <laughs> finds out what algae is and she's like, oh my God, why is no one doing it? <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. I just like, this is crazy. So I, did, I have an MBA. I'm Canadian, although I live in Boston. And I was, I had a corporate career. And then 15 years ago, my younger sister, who I'm very close to, developed breast cancer. But fortunately, her oncologist was a woman. And, to, and women tend to know more about nutrition, let's face it. And she told my sister, who as she was preparing for her chemotherapy, that she should change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. They didn't tell her what an alkaline diet was or what specifically it did. So my sister called me, not that I knew anything about nutrition, uh, as maybe many of you don't. But I thought, but I'm a good researcher, so I said, I'll figure this out. So I went online, and you can Google alkaline diet. It's mostly a plant-based diet because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients that have been proven for decades to build your immune system. So I, changed, I, I did research on different foods she should eat, and she did go through chemo, and she completely healed, and 12 years later, she's still cancer-free. But in the process of doing that, I dug in a little deeper into plant-based nutrition and found algae, which was is the most alkaline food in the world, the most nutrient-dense food in the world, endorsed by NASA, also endorsed by the United Nations as the answer to world hunger because it has three times the amount of protein as steak. Ladies, as you get older, you need more protein protein but you don't want to be eating all the time right so this is an efficient way to get your protein uh, because and, it, uh, and I it's just say, and you can it doesn't break your fast correct does not break your fast we've because been on, I've been on like Dr. the best hack because i have it in the morning and somehow yes. be like oh like i can munch on it and it doesn't break my fast i can keep going and can i feel like i chewed a little bit of something so it's such a win Yes, it's a complete win. You don't get the keto flu. We've done tests because it doesn't decrease your ketones or increase your glucose. Spirulina is absorbed very quickly. So um, the spirulina and chlorella, maybe I should just go into a little yes, explanation. Yes, that was my about- next question. Okay, because they're quite different, and the way, the way, the reason you take them and when you take them is quite different. So spirulina. You see, if you guys get the your own, if you're watching this right now, if, if for those of you who are listening, uh, 
there's two different packages. One says energy, the other one says recovery, and we'll find out why. Yes. So spirulina is a blue-green algae. As I mentioned earlier, it has two pigments in it, a blue one, which is called phycocyanin, and a green one, which is chlorophyll. And chlorella only has the green pigment in it, which is called chlorophyll. So spirulina's big claim to fame is that it gives you energy. That's why we called it energy bits. It gives you energy in the moment. It gives your brain energy, and it also gives you what's called cellular energy, which is what your body needs to perform everything from breathing, from your heartbeat, your neurotransmitters, your digestion. It uses something called ATP, which is uh, basically cellular energy. Now, I want to make sure you understand the difference between cellular energy and a stimulant. A stimulant is something like sugar like or caffeine or, or, yeah. or chemicals, and it speeds up the molecules. So, But you get a rush and then a crash. And a, the analogy I like to make is that it's like putting uh, a stimulant, like coffee or sugar, is like putting paper on a fire. You get a big burst and then you get nothing, right? Spirulina, because it gives you energy at the cellular level, is like putting a log on the fire. Very steady, very quiet, very efficient. And it's, there's only one calorie per, ta per tablet. So you could have uh, 10 in the morning, swallow them. They don't repeat like fish oil. Once they're down, they're down. Or you could chew them. I chew mine. My tongue's always green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the... the the proud tongues um and and so so for 10 calories you get 40 vitamins and minerals concentrated protein you get chlorophyll which is very cleansing you get out the door you have all the electrolytes that you need so very nourishing so it's great to have in the morning or the afternoon you have about five in the afternoon when you're tired honestly um you don't get a rush you just feel more alert your hunger is gone if you're trying to lose weight this is the answer this is mother nature's version of Ozempic, except no downside because it kills your I appetite. I love you, Catherine. You're such a star. I like you. Just have the talent of like nailing it down and just helping people truly understand the power of the most beautiful food ever. I love it. This. Is nature's Ozempic? Yes, yeah, <laughs> it is beautiful life. food. And and I I had to give it a facelift because people thought the yeah, algae was pond scum, but it's not. It is the most powerful, nutrient-dense uh, uh, food you'll ever put in your body as long as you get it from a safe source. But yeah, it stops your hunger. You could have 30 for lunch. You wouldn't be hungry for five hours for 30 calories. And more importantly, you will be fully nourished. The problem with Ozempic is that people aren't eating. But as you pointed out in, on your website, um, Aggie, you know, your body is generating, I think it was 25 million new cells every every minute. And so every day, you 30 trillion cells die and 30 trillion cells grow back. But if you aren't getting the proper protein or proper nourishment, your cells will not grow back um, healthy. And so what's happening is people are taking Ozempic, they're losing weight, but they're losing muscle. They're not That's losing the biggest fat. Thing. That's and the that's problem. Why actually with my mom, I, my mom's like, oh, here, this is Ozempic. I'm like, mom, it's so hard to, and for all those women that I've worked with, we are scared of lifting proper weight. So our muscle mass is declining anyway. So for you to build muscle past the age 40 is extremely hard to actually yeah. build it on top of what you're, you can maintain it and it's, it's hard, but to build it progressively, it's super, super hard. And most women don't eat enough protein and don't enough you know enough nutrients and so it seems like that would be such a win situation and ozempic gets rid of the muscle mass so it's like i know you know we yeah. all my grandma you know the, i feel really passionate about it because both of my grandmas passed away from from falling right and from breaking oh. their um hips, hips and probably, then they got yeah. mobile and whatever so that's that's really really important it might feel like okay you're listening to this and like so young, but think about your parents, your grandparents and how important it is for them to be mobile. I said to my mom, I was like, mom, you have grandchildren to raise. Like I need you like at full capacity. Exactly. Um, and, exactly. So like, and also brain so, health. I want to touch on that because it's like, yes. it's, sorry. <laughs> Go no, ahead. no, no. Brain health is because uh, Alzheimer's is just escalating as well. So here's the Especially other cool women, thing, right? Yes, especially women. And also we suffer from osteoporosis more than men because it's because our bones are 
smaller than men. So I call spirulina brain food, and we'll, we'll talk about chlorella next, which is gut food, and the two of them work together beautifully. So why do I call this brain food? Because your mitochondria, keeping your mitochondria healthy, remember there's the things in your cells that generate energy. Well, your brain has the most mitochondria in your body. There are two million mitochondria per cell per cell. And so when your mitochondria get damaged, remember the lights going out? Mm -hmm. The first place the lights go out is your brain. And the first place the lights can turn back on is your brain and they it does it because it protects the mitochondria it protects your telomeres it's loaded with essential fatty acids so this is very much brain food we all know that some of the cold water fish like salmon are they're known as brain food right and a lot of it's because of the omega-3 and i tell people well where do you think they make the fish get the omega-3 from they get it from algae so this is definitely brain food there is no question whatsoever so when you're you're get, and it gives you energy it builds your skin it builds your hair it stops um uh, it, uh it helps prevent heart disease i mean these are all the big issues that creep into your life when you get older but when you're younger you still want better skin you still want more mental acuity you still want more energy you still want to be able to go work out you still want to lose weight you still want to stay trim this is the easiest also, fast way to do it and if you take 10 tablets a day I did the math because we have a 20% discount code for your listeners it costs you if you took 10 tablets a day and you bought a large bag it costs you a dollar a day a dollar a day and you'll end up buying fewer groceries it's because it has so much nutrition <laughs> right pardon me I said the dollar a day keeps the doctor away keeps everything away you know yeah. disease away keeps weight yeah. you know weight gain away fatigue away um it's it's the magic number and you know you can't even buy a coffee for less than three dollars and that's not going to change your life like spirulina will yeah. so so spirulina is very nourishing very much brain food heals the mitochondria and your mitochondria are the key to longevity and it's never too late to start feeding those mitochondria because as you mentioned as you get older they start to die you lose the nutrients that protect them and algae has everything in there to to look after them so it's kind of like your sos <laughs> algae just, to the rescue <laughs> yeah and i just i love first of all i just love how passionate you are about you know the topic and and just how you know for for women in their 30s i can just talk from my experience when i did my heavy metal test and my heavy metals were off the charts um that also led to me losing my hair in patches you know it's a oh, massive wow. hair loss because of toxicity in your body which makes sense right like you're yeah. you're just um your body isn't thriving and so is the acne so i would be really curious to like find a connection between i mean there's definitely a very strong connection between gut um, skin health and hair health because um, I'm the living proof the moment I healed my gut which would be a beautiful transition to chlorella yes yes absolutely so as so I what mentioned is gut and like how what, how we can support it with chlorella and how chlorella is different than spirulina Yes. So chlorella is a wellness algae. Spirulina is an energizing algae. And, and the way it's a wellness algae, spirulina has the highest protein in the world, three times the amount of steak, and it's all in amino acid form. So there's no work for your body to break down the protein to get access to the aminos, because aminos are the only way your body can absorb protein. It has mm -hmm. 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. So very high, highest protein in the world. Nothing in the world with more protein than spirulina spirulina chlorella Sorry, <laughs> crazy right yeah just unbelievable and it's all we and again we lab test everything so we have all the numbers to prove it chlorella has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world that's why it's called chlorella because of the chlorophyll and you may say to yourself well what's so important about chlorophyll well i'm going to show you this this is the chemical composition of chlorophyll and this is the chemical composition of your hemoglobin you notice that they're virtually identical? Yes, That's because they if you're are. listening the only... to this, we're just looking at a star shape. Uh, you Still, know. it's a chemical well, structure. structure. And, and you can go online and find the same thing. 
Uh, the only difference is in your blood, you have iron in the middle, and that's what carries oxygen, and in chlorophyll, it's magnesium. So number one, chlorophyll is important because it builds your blood. But here's the problem. Our, remember, our soils are so damaged, there's not enough nutrients uh, and not enough chlorophyll in our food anymore. Have you noticed that your arugula goes yellow after about the third day? That's yep. because there wasn't much chlorophyll to start off with. There's so much chlorophyll in uh, chlorella algae that it has 500 times more chlorophyll than arugula, and it has 25 times more chlorophyll than even liquid chlorophyll. Plus, it also has protein and 40 other vitamins and minerals. So, so number one, chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world, and chlorophyll builds your blood. Number two, chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. Why is that important? Because you've always heard, I hope you have, that things like omega-3 and D3 are important for your cellular health because they have a membrane yeah. which may, is made of lipids, which is a fancy way of saying fats. Well, because chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment, it heals your cell walls the same way. And why is that important? When you have healthy cell walls, nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. I say it's, it's sort of like keeping your windows clean, you know? Chlorophyll, so think of chlorophyll as window washers for your cell walls so everything works properly. Number two, chlorophyll kills bacteria. You can put it topically on, on uh, injuries. It kills bacteria in your mouth. If you chew it in your colon, uh, if you give it to your pets, their breath will be fresher. So chlorophyll kills bacteria throughout your entire body. And then chlorella also has um, something, it's a ha very, very hard cell wall. Um, so two things about that cell wall, it has fiber, which feeds your gut biome, which means that you, they can make what's called short short chain fatty acids so that your your gut is making the proper bacteria so that you have a healthy immune system. And number and two, I way, speak, right? Because it's also like short chain fatty acids are yes. uh, found in, in this quote unquote skinny people and they're yeah. not as balanced in obese people. Yes. Um, and also the uh, chlorella has this, this hard cell wall attaches to toxins. This is the magic of chlorella. Spirulina has no fiber, no cellulose wall. Chlorella has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom. And that cell wall attaches to heavy metals, pesticides, glyphosate, mold, alcohol, lactic acid, and pulls it out. So this is why we call our chlorella recovery bits, because it helps you recover from your day, from sport, from drinking. Uh, it pulls out radiation if you're doing chemotherapy. And or it sorry. has the high... Or, or flying, or flying. You know, to yeah. toxicity, EMFs, pulls it all out. So generally, we reckon you can take chlorella any time of day, but definitely take it before bed. Because when you sleep, that's when your body goes through a detox and repair cycle. So if you have chlorella in your body before you go to bed, you're, it's like having the cleanup crew in there. You're getting your, be your beauty rest. The cleanup crew is in there scrubbing out all the uh, aluminum out of your brain, the toxins out of your cells. Uh, it also stimulates peristalsis, also known as a bowel movement, uh, and you want to get rid of the junk in your trunk. So, uh, because if you don't have a good bowel movement, and let's face it, nobody wants to talk about bowel movements, but if you're on medications, or you're eating a lot of sugar, or you're eating a lot of carbs, you will be constipated. And if when you're constipated, all that stuff is stuck in your colon, and your blood, and what's in your colon? The stuff your body didn't want garbage is in your colon. And so if it's sitting there, the blood circulates and pulls all those toxins out and recirculates them. It's like, think about it this way. If you didn't take the garbage out in your house for about a week, it'd get pretty smelly and messy, right? Well, when you aren't having proper bowel movements, the same thing is going on in your body. You're just it's it's a just a enormous mess so you want to get rid of that and chlorella stimulates the what's called peristalsis which is the movement um the muscle movement that allows your body to have a bowel movement so so you have a happy happy trip to the bathroom in the morning uh, all thanks to chlorella <laughs> so beautiful so Again, just to summarize real quick, guys. So if you're listening to this and you might be thinking like, am I really exposed to toxins? Yes. And you mentioned glyphosate. So glyphosate uh, is a pesticide uh, that is sprayed on wheat and corn and soy. So if you're on a vegan diet or plant-based diet, the chances are that unless you have access to the best organic version of that, uh, even in all the processed foods, when they put wheat and fillers and whatnot, 
the chances are that there's a lot of glyphosate in your body and yeah. your glyphosate gets stuck in your gut. Uh, can lead to leaky gut, can lead to all sorts of issues. And uh, it's really, really hard to remove it. That's the sad part. And that's really, to reiterate what you just said, chlorella is one of those things that binds to those chemicals and helps you get, yes. um, helps them clean it out. So even if you were to take, um, I don't know, uh, an over-the-counter medication to make you go poop, that not necessarily mean that the poop that you're going to poop out will poop out all the toxins because glyphosate and and I might be wrong so please correct me but I understand that it's not really easy to poop out glyphosate from your system well you can't because um your only your your um bowel movements are what's left over from the day or the couple of days and once you have toxins in your body they get lodged into your cell walls and into your membranes and it takes chlorella will um just if you want to ever do an experiment, one of the people things people love about it is that it, it uh, um, you will be so if you're drinking alcohol of any kind, wine, spirits doesn't really matter. You are sober in an hour and a half, and you never have a hangover. How does it work? Well, it pulls all of the alcohol. I have been body. testing this theory last night, actually before our interview, because I haven't drank in two years. And so I had a glass of wine and I already felt that it was like, oh, it doesn't sit well when you don't drink. And I was yeah, like, I know. Chlorella, Chlorella, yeah. right before yeah. the interview. To and the I rescue. And I woke up and I'm like, dang, I feel great. Like yeah. this was, so I was actually going to bring that up. I'm glad you did. Yeah. So it pulls the alcohol out of your um, bloodstream in an hour and a half because your blood is very porous. It's liquid. So it, it will. So that's number one. It will pull the to any toxin that is in your bloodstream in an hour and a half. Your cells uh, take about uh, seven to ten days and your organs take anywhere from two to six months. So it's about the density of the cell structure. Your blood is very porous, so it can be uh, cleaned out a lot faster. So so back to your what you're going to poop. You're only pooping what um, what's been left over you're not pooping out the stuff that's toxic you have to have some mechanism to do that and um, some people use activated charcoal I don't recommend that because it pulls out all minerals not just the bad stuff chlorella I call it intelligent food for two reasons you have to be intelligent to take it and it knows what to do in your body it only pulls out the bad stuff the bad guys leaves yeah. all the good stuff there and in fact it has 40 vitamins and minerals so when you take either spirulina and chlorella not only are you nourishing your body with spirulina and you're detoxing your body with chlorella it also um, replaces many of your supplements it will can replace a a multivitamin, a um, fish oil, a CoQ10, a biotin. It can replace vegetables. If you don't like vegetables or your kids won't eat vegetables or your husband won't eat vegetables, they never have to worry again because this has the highest chlorophyll in the world and it still has fiber, at least chlorella does. So problem solved. And, you know, vegetables go bad after three or four days. Our, we have to put a, we put an expiry date on all of our um, uh, products. We're required to by the FDA, and it's always three years. What vegetable will last three years? Right, nothing. So, and even after three years, it never goes bad. It's it's the it's algae is the craziest thing. So. It's very, very efficient nutrition, safe for everybody, um, uh, so convenient. You can put them in a trail mix. You can put them in a salad. You can put them in a smoothie. You can eat them, I, swallow them, yeah. you know, however you want it because this will change your life. I, I, will, I will say that right out, flat out. It will save your life. It will protect your life. It will regain, give you back your energy. It will turn all those lights back on in your cells so your mitochondria are working. Your mitochondria are on your side they they want to generate energy for you but if they don't get what they need which is protection from toxins protection from free radicals they just die it's like your plants will die if you don't water them well your mitochondria are the same way if you don't give them what they need they die the problem is when they die you have less energy you have less energy to run to the store you have less energy to sleep you have less energy to fight an illness and so anytime you can bring back your mitochondria and turn those lights back on on, everything in your life will improve and algae does it especially spirulina in a way that is can cannot be replicated by any other food not even drugs and it's natural absolutely yeah. natural Crazy, you mentioned right? something about that I want to go back to about lactic acid and you said it pulls out the lactic acid from our bodies 
Can you expand on that? Well, athletes, um, we fuel NHL teams. They take, uh, they put, they have 75 spirulina before a game because they need energy on the ice and lots of focus. And they have chlorella, 75 of these. After, I'm not saying you have to have 75, but you know, I even have that more than that on my daily. Now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't even want to tell you how many I have. It's even more than that. So tell me, um, tell me. No, no, because people get upset. They think that they have to take that many. You know, remember, it's my company, so I don't have to buy them. But also, I, I only eat one meal a day now. So my grocery bill is just plummeted because I eat so much algae. And, and it but gives I, me I all the... I, I think for me, it's like important to understand, not because I, you know, obviously, we know that it's your company and it's obviously a little easier. But I want to also show that, that you can take that many and you won't overdose. Right, which is important to understand because maybe people will be like, I thought I'm taking a lot by taking 20. And so, oh gosh. I'm curious, and you're yeah, like, I have oh. at least 150 a day, at least. And but again, and I've had that many every day for the last 14 years. And, um, you know, I, and I, at one of the biohacking um, shows recently, Dave Asprey's show back in June, uh, I had, I did this test with a company called BrainTap. They do, normally yes, they do time. this. Okay, they do these tests to determine your biomarkers of your of your bio, of your um, biological age. Yes. Then they usually have you do that one of their brain tap, which is a device that balances out your brain cells so they function better. And then they usually test you afterwards and show that your biological age um, uh, improved. But with me, what they did is they did my my tests, get all my biomarkers, and HRV and everything. Then I had some algae, and then I came back an hour later and they tested me again. Whoa, and as I mentioned, no. so so here's the thing. So I'm going to be 68 this year, right? So in one hour after eating two pouches, one of spirulina and chlorella, my biological age was 32. And I have the paperwork to prove it. And I just, I'm laughing because there's this guy, Brian Johnson, who's getting all this visibility and, you know, uh, articles and a he, a million, he's, he's spending a million a year and uh, he's getting all these expensive treatments or, and he spent like five million and he's knocked off like a year and a half off his biological age. So I took an hour, I spent the equivalent of $12 and I knocked 32 years off my age. So Brian, the, I'm throwing the ga gauntlet down. You yeah. haven't even figured out how to improve your biological age until you start taking algae because who has five million dollars to spend and who wants to wait five years to knock off just a, a couple of years in in an hour i i knocked off 32 years and spent the equivalent of 12 dollars. that's oh. that's the gift of algae it's and it's so available to you it's a gift from mother nature it's you know the problem is it's not sexy like some of these devices yeah it's not sexy but it works who cares if it's sexy you're if it sexy. works you're doing a great job honestly i have never <laughs> been so more excited to like just jump on it i'm like i need more of this i need to get everyone i know and love <laughs> on the product and i think it's just that that's the beautiful you're doing such a beautiful job like helping well people thank you I, you're know, out there and be like genuinely the 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 best spokesperson you know yes I'm, I, I am, for. I'm definitely the voice of algae somebody had to be but i also design all of our packaging because and it, i made it so vibrant because I needed. I can't help anybody if I can't get the algae into them. And once it gets into your body, oh man! Like there's no going back. You will feel so great mentally, physically, your skin, your energy. So I designed everything to be as vibrant visually as what algae does for you in your body nutritionally. So uh, and it's my well, homage to Mother Nature. Everything's all you know, the bits of Mother Nature. So if you ever that, like the the true healing actually comes from the feminine. So from my perspective, who wants to call in more women into biohacking space and also bring more feminine energy into biohacking space, like your mission is like deeply aligned and, and beautiful. I have a question for you. What okay. can one expect as you take algae, right? So like, I would love for you to like, maybe reflect back on your journey and just say, you know, and we know what kind of makes us feel like we have more energy. We obviously feel like a, if we drink alcohol, we feel like we don't have a hangover. That's the immediate one. What happens over three months? What happens to us over six months, a year and 14 years of taking it daily? Sure. Well, um, we all have this preconceived idea that after a certain age like life looks really good until maybe 30 or 40 and then we're assuming that there's a decline 
When you take algae, there is no decline. In fact, it will probably just keep going up. And the reason for that is because our bodies are constantly regenerating. But uh, at a certain age, there are certain nutrients your body doesn't make anymore for you, like this one called superoxidismutase that protects your mitochondria, or melatonin that helps you sleep, or glutathione that is a detoxing agent. And algae has, other than melatonin, the highest concentration of all of those. So what, what you can expect in the short term, you need at least, uh, we generally suggest at least 10 spirulina in the morning and 10 chlorella at night to feel as sort of a, a, an introductory amount. If you have a health condition of any kind, a more therapeutic amount would be 30 spirulina and 30 chlorella. Um, and you can have as much, that much anyways. If you want as a meal replacement, 30 spirulina would be a meal replacement if you want to lose weight because it will, it will stop your hunger without reducing your nutrition or without reducing your energy. And it still reduces your cravings. A lot of cravings are because you're missing nutrients. So in the short term, you will feel uh, more energy. And again, it's not a stimulant. You might not even notice it. It's very quiet energy because it's at the cellular level. What you will feel is a little more pep in your step. Uh, you'll see your skin clear up. You'll have better digestion, better sleep. Uh, you'll have a better workout. You'll, you'll be able to run further or faster and you won't even notice it. So, so that's in the short term. And, mm -hmm. and when you take chlorella, you'll be pulling out toxins so your, your digestive tract will improve, your, um, your elimination will improve, your digestion will improve. Um, and of course, your gut and your brain can, can communicate with one another. So everything just gets balanced out better. Chlorophyll is also, as I said, very cleansing and kills bacteria. So, um, and lots of blemishes are because of acidity. Bacteria is acidic. So, so that's in the short term. And then, I'll, and then you, it just continues. You never will have that decline because your cells are being regenerated. Your cells are being nourished. Your body's removing toxins. It, you're getting the optimal. Um, uh, nourishment that you need and you're removing the things that you don't need. Now, you will need to still in, uh, keep moving. Movement is very important. Strength training is very important as you get older. You'll still need sleep. You'll still need sunshine. You'll still need love. Um, but I can help you with the nourishment. Algae will help you with the nourishment and the removal of toxins. There's no need for us to, to decline. And a lot of those that decline is starting earlier. Chronic disease, cancer and heart disease is hitting people at an earlier and earlier age because their mitochondria get damaged and aren't functioning and can't protect themselves. So it's, it's, uh, it can turn back time. I mean... I, I have more energy now than most of the people that work for me. I only have pretty much millennials that work for me. I'm twice their age. So I, I write I'm all impressed. the papers. I actually am thinking, you're like, oh, shit, she has more energy than I do. And I'm already doing so much. I travel almost every month. I'm, I, I'm, I'm speaking at conferences. I'm writing scientific papers. I'm doing I did. I've done 275 podcasts. I'm doing a photo shoot in Miami next week. And so uh, I sleep well. Um, my brain works. I don't, I can't hang out with people my age because they're all, they're sluggish. They're slow. They're overweight. They're sad. Oh, I forgot to mention how this improves your mood because of course of the mitochondria. So there is no decline when you are taking algae every single day. And the great thing is it replaces a lot of your other things. So it's not an added cost. It just, re it's actually saves you money because you're not having to throw food out. Like if you buy all those vegetables that go bad and it tra you travel, it travels everywhere with you. Um, and no, no and con what's called, called contraindications it goes and it does, doesn't matter whether you're vegan paleo carnivore low carb low cal it works with everybody algae is everybody we call it algae love for a reason it loves your body and when and then and your and your body loves it it's that simple <laughs> and i think it's what's really important to mention that you obviously sharing so freely about algae in general but um I guess if it's not harnessed it well and it's not third party tested, you might be mega dosing something that you think is healthy, but it's, you know, they use heat, they know, the, the quality of the algae isn't as good. So I highly recommend energy fits just oh, because thank you. for personal experience, but also from your mission. And I would rather leave my money with you over anybody else because <laughs> I just, you can tell that you, your, your mission is way beyond 
financial. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we, we, we have to change... The, we have to make a change in, in our world. It, nutritionally, the uh, algae is the answer. It fills all nutritional. Cr- chronic disease, everyone thinks they should take a pill and go to the doctor. The chronic disease is occurring because your body isn't functioning properly. Once yeah. it starts functioning properly, you won't have disease. And also, let's not forget, algae is the most sustainable, eco-friendly crop in the world. Uh, it provides 80% of the oxygen. When you grow it, you get 200 times more protein per acre. There's zero waste, zero negative footprint. Uh, you can gr- it takes a month to grow. You can get 10 crops a year instead of one crappy crop of corn that's inflammatory and doesn't do anything for you and is probably loaded with glyphosate. So, um, so we we really want algae. You know, I'm on a mission to get algae to the world uh, in 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 a very I big way. I feel like way. I'm going to join you in that mission because you're like <laughs> massively inspired. And I just want to reflect back to you how beautiful it is to see that like there's more women in the biohacking wellness longevity space, and we do it from a place of just mission and alignment, but also celebrating nature instead of just saying you know here's a bunch of chemicals that you can do. Because it's like the, you hit all the uh, tick all the boxes, Catherine, right, right. with your mission, which is super great. Okay, so I don't, I think like everyone listening to us right now is thinking like, how where do you, can I get this? Do, yeah, where, do, where, where, where do I go now? So if you can walk us through, what's the best way to start? Absolutely. So come to our website, energybits.com. It's E-N-E-R-G-Y, B for boy, I-T-S. Dot com, And um, you, we have uh, these really fun canisters that come with a bag inside, and then you, you just shake the tablets out of, out of the can, or, um, out of the canister, and they, uh, or you can buy a bag, or we have single pouches that make it easy. And we have a 20% discount code, Aggie, A-G-G-I-E, that works on anything that you buy at energybits.com. And even if you don't want to buy anything, just come because we write a big blog every month and we provide lots of science references. Um, and if you want to, you know, you're not, you're not, you're worried about whether or not to, you know, buy a big bag or whatever. We sell them in small um, pouches on, on Amazon. There's six, um, 30 tablets in a pouch. They're $6. So if you're in the United States, you can go to amazon.com and buy a, a pouch, try it out. And then Come back to energybits.com and use your uh, 20% discount code Aggie. And remember, with the code, uh, a bag is usually $130. With the code, it brings it down to 104 And if you took 10 tablets a day, a bag will last you three months. So this is three months of vegetables right here and protein, by the way. Um, and it costs, it will work out to a dollar a day for 10 tablets a day. So very efficient nutrition. And um, and so if you don't like vegetables, can't eat vegetables, are traveling too much, don't have time to eat them, this is your answer. And yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of you, Aggie, for what you're doing and helping encourage more women to get involved with biohacking, which effectively is just learning how your body works, learning to find ways to uh, improve your own health and longevity. And what I'd like to leave you with is mother, my, people say, well, who's your mentor? Mother nature is my mentor. Anytime mm. I doubt anything, I look at mother nature, things don't happen overnight. They, they, seasons change, flowers grow slowly. By the way, flowers don't compete. They don't get angry with some, with some the flower beside it if it's getting more sun. There's enough for everybody. Same with algae. There's enough nutrition for everybody. Uh, so you, you know, just, it's like the sun. Just once you get out in the sun, you feel great. Once you start taking algae, you feel great because it's so natural. It's from mother. She she uh, has our best interests in heart. And you know, I'm going to just throw this out as well um, because it's all you know. We're focusing on women. Um, you you know that your 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 DNA half comes from the cell or the sperm, and half comes from your your eggs. Well, with mitochondria, which control everything in your body, it's all from women. The yes, mitochondria right. are only from the women. And how perfect is that? Because your mitochondria have their own DNA and they control everything. They're working behind the scenes, just like women always do. But you know what? L- let's come out in front of the scene. Let's yeah. let the sunshine sh- spotlight shine on us. 
let's shine the spotlight on Mother Nature. Let's shine the spotlight on us because we're always working together in harmony, solving problems. We need to support one another. And, and honestly, this is the best support you'll ever give your body, your daughters, your family is, is, is algae. And it came from Mother Nature herself. I'm just here to help grow it safely for you and educate you. But it's Mother Nature. And uh, she's she's the she's the miracle, and we're part of it. So no, um, I su- feel absolutely yourself. inspired. You at least <laughs> one converted person to like I got those. And remember this interview. We're gonna check in ten years when I look even younger. Absolutely, and like, so beautiful, uh, Catherine. I love what you're doing and the energy behind what you do. I guarantee how successful <laughs> you're gonna be when you're 140 and thriving, <laughs> and you're gonna be like I told you guys. Right. Right. About six well, years ago. Which yeah. is so beautiful. Thank you for your mission. Thank you for being a, a guest. And if you, again, if you're listening to this energy bits, code Aggie, A-G-G-I-E to get 20% off. Thank you so much for listening and tune in. I'm going to have a quick giveaway for you at the very end. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. <laughs>